good morning. Uh, we're here at California Car Company and we're going to take a minute and walk around this 1978 Firebird Formula. Now something to keep in mind, this is a 48,000 original mile car that's completely untouched. I mean, original paint, original interior, original engine and drivetrain. Um, all of it's untouched and uh, we have a stack of receipts and documentation from the original owner on this car that's just unbelievable. Uh, everything from the original window sticker to the uh, the build sheet, uh, the tag tank, or the uh, tank tag that was above the gas tank when we pulled it out, um, and all the way down to receipts from where she had the car detailed and washed. I mean, just incredible. Everything that was done to it, when it had the brakes done, when it had tune-up work done, uh, just probably one of the most thorough documentations of a car that we've ever seen. Uh, for example, when we bought this car, um, it had this same brand and size and style of tire, the BF Goodrich Radial TAs on it. And uh, we got to looking through the documents because the tires, the tread on them looked like brand new. Of course, they were dry rotted and square from sitting so long, but uh, it had, they had 2,000 miles on the tires. Uh, so they literally were like brand new, but uh, we took them off, of course, and we bought a brand new set of BF Goodrich Radial TAs. Uh, they're the same size and same style and everything, so they, they really fit the car nicely. Um, trim rings on it are in really nice shape. They're not road rashed and beat up, and I'll get a little closer look at those so you can take a look at that. Uh, the body on this thing is exceptionally nice. Uh, there's no rust in it anywhere. The floors, the bottom of the doors, which I'll show you, um, inside the jams and everything, all that's rust-free. Um, the thing runs just phenomenal. It really does. Uh, the card sat for quite a while. Uh, you'll notice, you probably saw in the back, the rear tag says 1997. That was the last tag that was put on the car. And uh, the car just sat in the garage. It was under a couple car covers, and uh, she just she kept it up. She had five of these cars. She had a 70, 72, 74, 76, and then this 78. This was the last one she owned before she passed away. And she just had a passion for these cars. She loved them. She loved the body style. She loved to drive it. She loved to have fun with it. And she maintained it exceptionally well. So um, let's dive into it. We'll take a little closer look at this. The thing that we were really impressed with was how nice the rubber bumpers are on this car. These are the original ones. They haven't been touched. Uh, they're in really nice shape. They're not cracked. Um, a lot of times they get cracked and beat up up on the top up here next to the hood especially. You can see how nice that is. A little piece of dirt or something on it there, but look how nice that is. No cracks all the way across. And down on the bottom, you can see where it, no, no curb rash or anything on it right there. Oh, that's really nice. Go around here. You get a close look. Uh, Jim had mentioned that uh, you were asking if this car needed to be painted and there's no way on the world I would ever paint this car. The paint is way too nice on it. Uh, we did have it buffed and polished, uh, but that's all we had to do to it. Uh, we didn't do any paint work on it anywhere. The hood's got a couple of spots in it where it looks like it's got maybe a, just a few little acid rain spots, but it's not not terrible. I'm, you can see some close-up looks. There's one there. That's actually some dirt or something that's on it there, but you can see how nice that is. You can see the reflection in it. Look how clear the reflection is. That's original. But all we did was buff it. You can see all the way down the side of it. I'll walk. Wear a nice bright green shirt so you can see that. Look how straight that car is. We didn't see any wiggles or anything in that as we were going down the side of it. So, uh, original emblems. Look how nice these emblems are on the side of it. They're both just exceptionally nice. The interior on this car is just, just immaculate. It really is just beautiful. Um, the door panels, they're not torn. Even the carpet on the bottom of these is still in exceptionally nice condition. The armrest pads aren't broken up from arms pushing on them. The dash pad is still just in mint condition. Look at that. No cracks in it anywhere across the top. The wood grain insert in the dash is nice. Check out these seats. I mean, just look at that. The car really does speak for itself. We did have to install a new headliner. As you can imagine, being out in California, it's, it's hot. There's a lot of heat out there. Even being in an enclosed garage, it was hot. So this was kind of hanging on the sides. So we bought a new material with the new padding and everything behind it and had our local interior shop install that. You can see the dome light works. I'll uh, push the button in. You see it go out. There you go. And uh, back of the seats, got the mechanism that flips up down here. All that still works. Got the shoulder harness strap. All that works. Look down in here at the back of the seats. Look how nice and clean all that is. It's not packed with dirt and you know it's not ripped up and torn like all of these is. Um, you know, original GM belts and everything in the back back here. 
still in like new condition. Look at the ones on the side over here with the retractors that retract. All that works like it's supposed to, so no problems there. Um, you can see how nice the back seats are in it. The carpet's not even faded in it, which is just really impressive. Um, you can see the package tray in the back. You can see how nice the package tray is. It's not warped. There's that rear speaker, so it does have the rear speaker, which is nice. These back panels in here, all this is in really nice shape. Get my arm out of it. Sail panels, all that's in really nice shape. The back of the seats, you can see how nice all that is. Not, not broken up, not beat up, not nothing like that. And that retracts back, which is nice. It doesn't you know, lay there sagging in your face or anything. Uh, the visors, both sides, those are still in good shape. Not hanging or sagging or anything. Check out these jams, look how nice this is. All the way around, and you can see, you can look closely in those jams, there's no tape lines or mask lines or anything like that. Uh, the rubber around the windows and stuff is even still soft. Look at this, and that's the original stuff. And it's not cracked up, it's not chewed up, all that's nice. And uh, even the window pieces here, all this is still intact. We'll close the door here so you can see and inside the jam this is something we were impressed by these are the factory to dealership delivery door edge guards those aren't you know put on by the dealer those are put on from the manufacturer when the car is shipped out and look how nice this closes look at that don't have to slam it the doors don't sag one finger and it closes that nice we'll go around to the other side we can take a look at the other side uh, these wheels that's the original paint on the wheels we didn't repaint them and you can see how nice the trim rings are they're not you know chewed up and beat up we'll get on this side too let's see if i can get my picture in it let's see here there we go it's a little brighter on this side so it's hard to see me but Look at that, nice and straight, all the way down. Check out this door. This one has the door edge guard on it too. The driver's door, as you know, is always the one that gets the most wear, but look at this. It matches the other side perfectly. It's not torn. The armrest is the same way. It's not beat up. You know, the pockets, this still has some snap to it when you close it. It's not dangling off the side. You can see the jam, even the door sill plate. There's some minor scuffing on the door sill, but in most cases, these are really, really beat up. This one's nice. You can see. There's the jam. All the way up. Still got the vent and everything in it. Of course, the fire truck's going to be coming now, so it's a perfect opportunity to step inside the car and show you the dash. You see, check out that wood graining in the dash. And that's the original stuff. Get in closer so you can see the odometer. There you go, 48,360 miles. All the gauges and stuff work in it. Shifter console, check out the armrest. Now the fire truck's gone, sorry about that. Uh, original AM FM radio that does work, plays out of both front and rear speakers. I can turn that on here in just a second. But uh, you know, inside the console here, all this flips up and locks back down like it's supposed to. Uh, the only spot that I noticed on anywhere in the interior for wear is right here on the corner. It looks like a little bit of the wood graining's worn off, which that's where you put your thumb when you're driving. Uh, so all this, all this is really nice in here. Uh, this actually has, she installed this little flip down thing for an extra visor on it so while she was driving she could flip that down and it wouldn't it have a little less glare so that just flips up and then folds up above the visor like that so that's really cool let's see uh, I want to show you the bottom of these doors and uh, try to get the best picture I can of this as you can see this is something we thought was cool check out this old change information inside here that says uh, 9 7 of 83 and it's uh, 45,000 miles is what it had on it at that point 
320 of 85, 46,000 miles. So you can see that's kind of neat to have that kind of maintenance stuff in there. But uh, you can see the bottom of the doors. Try to get it where you can see. There you go. All this is just beautiful. There's no rust or anything underneath here. Very nice. No gaping holes or anything in here. Uh, you know, car was a California car, so it was never left out in the weather. You know, none of this is rotted away. This is all in great shape. And, uh, we'll get down here so you can kind of see the underside of it a little bit better. I promise we're not in a high crime area around here. This is just, uh, for some reason, there's a lot of cars going by today. But here you go. You can kind of see a picture of the underside here. It's kind of dusty under here, but there's no rust. Um, you can kind of see... There you go. You can kind of see better floor pans there. Just a little bit of dirt. You know, it's dusty under here from sitting. We have driven the car some, which is great, but uh, no, we haven't put an incredible amount of time in it. You can just see a little dusty, a little dirty. It's got that factory undercoating under here. Still got the original catalytic converter on it. And uh, I'll get down on the other side too so you can see that side. But uh, you can listen to this door and I'll close it. Just a nice little push. Same way as the other side. Just so, and it doesn't drag. So when you're opening and closing it, you don't feel it sliding on the pin. It just closes right back nicely. So let me go around the other side and I'll open that door to show you the underside of it. There you go, I hope you can see that. There we go, I hope it comes out okay. It's kind of tough to see, the sun's pretty bright out here. I can also provide you with a couple of just still images of it as well. While I'm down here, I'll look at this side too on the undercarriage, as you can see there. Just kind of dusty, a little bit of dirt. You know, it's not, not, you know, pristine perfect under here because the car did sit for a while. But, uh, you know, the factory undercoating and everything on it protects everything. But uh, there's no gaping holes in floor pans or anything. It's all very solid. The bottom side of the rockers, bottom of the fenders, all that's still exceptionally nice. You know, no rust, no rust holes or anything in any of this stuff. Oh, that's nice. And you can actually see right there, there's the under dash light that does work. Okay. <sighs> the uh, close up shots of the bottom of the fenders here, so you can see that. There's the Firebird emblem straight down. All that's really nice. And even under the molding, you can see no rust under there. Go around the other side and show you the same. There's the Firebird emblem, straight down. You can see under there. Oh, that's nice. No, no rust, no rot, no nothing. All right, let's go to the back here. I'll pop the trunk so you can take a look inside there. It's got the original uh, Space Saver spare tire back here. There we go. Original jacking instructions. And uh, how about the original GM fan belts? She even kept those in a box in the trunk. There's the uh, inflatable spare tire and the inflation can. All this is nice. I can show you under the rubber. Look at this. I mean, this is all original in here. This is all of the original stuff, original floor and the splatter paint and everything. And uh, check out the wiring harness. This is something that, you know, I, I work on a lot of these old cars and it's always something to note and how nice this is. Look at the condition of these wires. They're not brittle. They, you know, they're not hard as a rock. They move very fluidly. And even the casing that holds it in place, all of this is still in really nice condition. It's very, it's malleable. It's not hard, which is great. It's a great. Working on these older cars, a lot of times they get really hard and brittle. So that's good to see. Trunks like that on both sides. I mean, all this is just, just beautiful in here. This is the kind of stuff that we look for. This is the kind of classic car that we look for. And you can see trunk light, 
hard to see. Let's see. There we go. Trunk light does work. And again, even the trunk rubber is still soft. No problems there. Let's close this up. Nice and tight. There's the Firebird emblem right there. Oh, that's a nice condition. Let's go around to the front here. And I've got the key in my hand, so let's fire this baby up. I want to hear it run. Ah. All right, I'm not going to touch the gas. I'm just going to put my foot over to the side. Stick the key in it. And you can hear the buzzer. Buzzer works. I'm just going to breathe on the key. That quick and she's running. Tack works. So you can see that comes right up. And uh, gas gauge. We don't keep much gas in them around here uh, for security reasons, but uh, voltage. Speedometer, of course. We're not moving yet, but uh, oil pressure comes right up. 40 PSI. We did change the oil in it. And as uh, so you can see, the tack. Okay. And uh, let's go to the back, back here, so you can hear the exhaust on it. No smoke. No smoke, nothing in, in any way, shape, or form there. I'll pop the hood. You take a look under the hood here. All we did was clean under here. We didn't, we didn't have to paint anything. All we did was take a damp towel and wipe it all down. Jim had mentioned about the AC compressor. Um, I have sourced a new AC compressor, so you can still get the A6 style. Um, and I think he mentioned you have a couple places up there that could even recharge it with R12, which is great. We did tune up the engine. Uh, we changed the fluids. So transmission fluid's been serviced, engine oil's been serviced. We did install a new alternator. The, uh, the bearings in the old alternator were a little tired. It was making some noise, so we did install that. A new battery, of course. And uh, it got a complete tune-up. It got uh, plugs, cap, wires. Uh, the coil was changed inside the ATI distributor. All that's been done. And uh, the hoses and stuff are in great shape. Heater hoses, belts, uh, the radiator hoses and whatnot. I'd have no problem jumping in this car and driving it anywhere you want to drive it. So it's just fantastic. Uh, even the original decal up in the front here that shows you all the information. It's still in great shape. You can see... 350 cubic inch and uh, even the back side of the headlight pieces this fiberglass on both sides is still in phenomenal shape look at this still in great shape so you can see how smooth it is it just purrs like a kitten quick closes down seals up nice so let's hop in it we can uh, cruise around the parking lot a little bit I won't be able to go out on the road holding a cell phone to uh, take a video with but we can go around in the parking lot a little bit just so you can see it move under its own power. Uh, original GM floor mats too. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. There's the GM logo on it. And the driver's side one, you know, most of these on the driver's side's worn out. Look at this. There's no wear hole in it from, uh, you know, the heels and stuff for women. All right, so let's uh, park and brake. Put on the brake. Drive. Speedometer, let's see if you can see it. Yep, there you go. And brakes, we'll hit them a little bit so you can see it stops well. Nice and good with the brakes. Reverse. Also change the power steering fluid in it too, just because with it sitting for a while, You'd expect that to get, you know, just some age on it. It's always good to have fresh fluids in these. Something else to note, look at the condition of the steering wheel in the rubber. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it here, but look, look how nice all this is. It's not cracked. All that's nice and, and true, and there you go. It's in good shape all the way around. All that's nice. You can see it idle in gear. Uh, let's see here, what do we got? Uh, about, uh, what 600 rpms which is about where it should be at charging goes up a little bit whenever you take off which is nice 
and uh, it pulls really well. The car runs really nicely. Um, I could probably get Jim to ride with me and we could take a, a video of it driving if you needed to, but she, uh, she moves out fine. There's no issues there. See, uh, temperature gauge is coming up a little on it's all that works. Just turn the radio on. For whatever occasion you'd like, for this week, for Jacob Eason, for Delta Buddy Touch, and Joe's, we go pay by cheap spirits and drink. There you go. From both ends, that works well. Um, you know, all this stuff works. You can actually still hear the compressor kick on, blowers and whatnot. All that works, you know, that everything moves like it's supposed to. So you put it on floor, moves down to the floor. So all the vacuum ducts and stuff work on that front. Um, she runs good, there's no smoke. I'll rev it a little bit. See, so she's nice and clean, no problems there. So uh, we'll shut her off. I mean, the thing runs that good. She purrs like a kitten. This is really a great car. Um, it's a phenomenal car, especially to find one in this kind of condition that's all original. Um, it really is amazing. Um, I didn't show you the back of the seat. I apologize. Uh, this seat, you know, all this still flips up like it's supposed to. Look at the bottom of this seat. It's nice and clean, and the driver's side is the one that gets the most wear. So you can see how nice all that is. Back seat back of this seat all that's just exceptionally nice so seat belt goes back up retracts you can see the bottom of this seat how nice it is just just beautiful absolutely beautiful so uh, I hope this video helps uh, I hope it gives you a, a chance to kind of see how nice the car is um, it really is a nice piece it's a beautiful piece we have a lot of documentation a lot of history on it um, so uh, Please feel free to contact us again if you need more pictures or if you have questions or need anything answered, if you want additional pictures and stuff for the car. Um, it really doesn't have anything to hide. It's just an exceptionally nice car. It literally drives like a new car. The, uh, the steering and everything on it is really tight. There's no play in the steering. It's got plenty of pickup. Um, the automatic choke and everything works on it when it's cold, so it fires right up. And uh, I mean, it just is, overall, it's just incredible at how nice this car really is and how well it's been preserved. It's, it's more like a time capsule than it is anything. So, um, you know, it's just, it really speaks for itself. We'll check all the lights and all the fluids and everything in them before they leave. So uh, please feel free to give us a call or send us an email back if you've got any questions or if you want to see further pictures. Thank you.